we spread the gospel all around the world in the power of the Holy Spirit through events and media. That's what our ministry does. And we're not going to veer from that. What I'm going to talk to you about tonight is an expansion of that. It's an expansion of what's happening in this ministry. It's an expansion of what God has called us to do with laser focus. I've had people call me to this and call me to that and come do this and come do that. And we've had to stay focused on what God has given us to do. So I wanna make this very clear. First, I'm gonna announce that at least for the next two years, I talked to Reuben about this. Where's Reuben? So for the next two years, that's for this year and then the rest of 2022, we are gonna to continue to hold monthly services in Southern California. We're gonna to continue to hold monthly services in Southern California. Now that's not the announcement, but I need to say that because I have to be very clear here that this is not a transition, this is an expansion. So some would say, well, what about California? I'm telling you right now, California, we're gonna to continue to do monthly events. We're gonna to continue to hold events here in California, even the Holy Spirit Conference. And we're not going to stop because we believe this is a special place God has assigned to us. And we've been, God's given us revival here. So let me be very clear. California is a focal point for this ministry. So this is a, California is a focal point for this ministry and that's not going to change. Okay, you hear me very clearly. This is not a transition. This is an expansion. Like in a war, you set up various fortresses to take more ground. Our ministry is going to begin construction and the project fundraising to build a second television broadcast studio in Austin, Texas. So, now I have to be clear on why this is important. There are seven reasons why we're continuing with this. Number one, we wanna win more souls. This new facility that we're going to build is going to be state of the art like Solomon's Temple. To be clear, we're keeping the Southern California studio. So we're gonna do one in Southern California. We have it already. We're not losing that foothold. We're gonna continue to do monthly events in Southern California. We're going to expand and build a second location in Austin, Texas. The 10 year plan is to do another one in Orlando and somewhere in the Northeast. And then after that, who knows, the Lord might lead us to do international television broadcast studios. Now the reason for this is I'll explain. Number one, to win more souls. The greater your media reach, the more eyes and ears you get in front of. The more eyes and ears you get in front of, the more people who are converted by the gospel message. We wanna build more believers. Discipleship is key to growth in anyone's spiritual life, which is why we put out teaching as constantly as we do. We've had people tell us that they started as a new convert and now they're in ministry today all from just watching Encounter TV from when they first got saved. Do you realize there are evangelistic ministries that exist today because there were people who grew up as they were it and they started in the ministry because they were inspired by watching Encounter TV. There are, they're all over the world like that. We also want to reap the end time harvest. The clock is ticking, church. The clock is ticking. I wouldn't be surprised if we heard the trumpet right now and the sky split wide open. I was, I was in the back checking out the online broadcast before we, we, we began and as the countdown was going and people were getting excited for the beginning of the service, someone commented on YouTube, imagine what it's gonna be like when we see Jesus coming the anticipation, the joy, but we have to be ready for it. I don't want to get to heaven and find there was more I could have done on earth. When I get to heaven, I want to be able to say, Lord, I did everything I could to win souls. So it's to reap the end time harvest. Number four, we want to impact the next generation, the youth. By communicating through modern means, we reach the modern generation. And let me tell you something, there's a very wicked agenda right now to corrupt the minds of youth and young adults. The way you combat that is by taking the gospel into the dark places, and the way you take the gospel into the dark places is through media. Digital media is the future of evangelism. We also want to establish Kingdom Dominion. This is not just another studio. As I said, this is a spiritual fortress. It's time that the church reclaims media. Yeah. 
I don't know about you, but I'm done reacting to what the world does. It's time to get ahead of the game. And this is why we're doing this. It's time to expand with leaner operations, greater use of technology, more creative ministry, and we are gonna go after the soul of the next generation. Amen. Number six, we wanna empower ministries. There are ministries around the world who use our editors and our directors and our graphics designers. We have ministries flying in. The leader of the ministry will take their whole staff in and they'll come and they'll receive a tour of the entire studio and our, our team gives them everything. We show them how we create our content schedule. We show them how we code our apps. We show them how we reach millions of people with hundreds of dollars and we show them how we play the algorithm and how we work to be creative to catch their attention and we're helping to equip other ministries this new studio project we're going to have a couple of sets on there that we're going to be able to allow other ministries in the region to be able to come and use that we might platform other ministries and we're going to continue to do that in california as well so the more regions we go to the more ministries will be allowed to be platformed. There are programs that you watch, you don't even realize, I guarantee you if I said some names, you don't even realize they were shot at Encounter TV Studios. That our editors put those programs together. That our people help design their websites. And the way that works is Kingdom Connection. We are not about competition. We are about connection. And we have to stop playing that game. There's a world that's dying and going to hell. It's time to stop with the competition. We're all on the same team. Amen. Number seven, the reason why, so we're, we wanna win souls. We wanna build believers. We wanna reap that end time harvest. We wanna impact the next generation. We want to establish kingdom dominion. The nation belongs to the church, don't forget it. We want to empower other ministries to be able to maximize their impact and multiply their reach. And number seven, we want to defeat demonic big tech censorship. That is why, in addition to this brand new studio that we're constructing, we are going to be releasing our very own I'm talking own servers, own operations. We're going to be establishing our own video platform within the next two years. We're going to establish our own video platform that we're gonna allow other ministries to begin to use and we will not censor the gospel. We will not silence the church. When they try to make a move against us, they can't kick us off what they don't own. And when we have dominion in that way, and when we apply the wisdom of the Spirit in that way, we will come against every force of darkness, and they won't be able to stop the gospel. I'm serious. It's time to stop worrying, stop complaining, and start innovating. Church of the living God, you have the Holy Spirit in you. You have the fire of God within you. It's time to begin to build. The spirit-filled are the most innovative. The spirit-filled are the most imaginative. Creation is God's business. It's time we do it. So we must let our frustration become action. And it's time to stop reacting and begin creating. So, to recap, we're continuing Southern California. Don't, and if you see a comment, they're leaving to Texas. Don't let them say that. Say, no, they're gonna continue doing things in California. This is not a transition, this is an expansion. And so, we're going to build this new studio. And it's gonna be bigger and better than anything we've ever built before. And we're gonna build this new tech platform. And we're gonna need to invest a lot in our own servers, in our own technology, in our own codes, in our own software. And we're bringing some of the greatest minds in the kingdom of God together to come against this assault on the church. And I'm telling you, God will use this and this will be the future of evangelism.
We're calling on creatives, we're calling on donors, we're calling on the minds in the tech industry. We need to gather now. Those of you watching online, connect with our ministry. We're pooling our resources as the kingdom of God and we're gonna build a heavenly platform for heavenly purposes. This is God's agenda for evangelism in this century and it's time we rally behind it. We now need even greater support. We need people to just lavish the Lord in your giving and it's to Him. It's to his work. Think of all he's done for you. Think of all the wonderful ways he's been there for you and your family and your marriage and your health. He's never held back from you. Don't hold back from him. This is his work. This is his mission. This is for souls. This is that we might win souls. Disciple believers. Reap the end time harvest. Impact the next generation. Establish kingdom dominion, empower other ministries, and defeat this demonic big tech censorship. Here's what you can do right here, right now. If we're going to meet this goal. We need you to do this for the Lord. We need you to do this for a generation. We need you to do this for the future of evangelism depends upon how we obey the Holy Spirit.